All right, we stay in the SEC, a big one. Next up, Alabama and Texas A&M. Uh, we've got Alabama two and a half point, only two and a half point road favorites at Kyle Field in College Station. 50 the total uh, in this one. I mean, this is a dangerous game for Alabama. It really, really, although I really would have liked Texas A&M more if Wegman had not gotten injured. I still think Wegman's a little bit, I like him more than Max Johnson. And that's not to take anything away from Max Johnson, who came in in a tough situation a couple weeks ago against Auburn and was pretty good. He was very good, I thought, for most of the game last week against Arkansas. And he has the experience. Again, there's a guy that has played at LSU in the past, you know, and he's been around the block, Max Johnson. He's got experience. And that's why they brought him in here at AM after those couple of years at, at, at Texas A at LSU. 62% completion, six touchdowns, one interception. I like that. He's protecting the football, Max Johnson, right now. Uh, and look, years ago, you know, going back to when Man since Manziel was there, you'd always give Alabama the quarterback advantage in this matchup. Max Johnson's a very experienced player, and he's playing well since he's come in for AM after Wegman's injury. This is not that big gap at the quarterback position that it normally is between these two teams. And look, Jalen Milrow is getting better, but he is not Bryce Young. He is not, you know, some of these recent Alabama quarterbacks we have seen here uh, in years past. So this is a this is a winnable game for AM. The question is going to be what do we get defensively from them? Because there is still that horrendous game they played against Miami. But really outside of that, they shut down Auburn. I thought they played a great defensive game against Arkansas last week. They forced KJ Jefferson into mistakes and into turnovers. This is at AM, which is huge in my opinion. Yeah. I'm leaning AM to beat Alabama here in this game. I really am. Um, because to me, Alabama on the road, let's and Jalen Milrow in particular on the road. Let's let's see it against someone other than Mississippi State, who to me have been a bet against team. And I was on Alabama last week. It was right here on this show saying I'm laying the 14 and yeah, a half. Yeah, I was on it. Yeah, I laid it. Yeah. I, I, it's a good matchup. Mississippi State's got zero defense. Um, they're going to be able to do what they want, and they won 40 to 17. But this AM defense has been very good outside of the Miami game. And I don't think Alabama's offense is at Miami's level this year. Maybe in years past it is, but I don't think it's at that level this year. I think there's a winnable game for AM. Uh, haven't pulled the trigger yet. Uh, and, and look, good on the people who – it was briefly three and a half yesterday, Alabama's road favorites, quickly went down to three, and then went through the three down to two and a half. That tells you there's some serious opinion and money on the betting in the betting markets on Texas A&M here in this game. And uh, I agree with it. I think they're very live in this game. It's a tough game for Alabama. not saying Alabama can't win it. And uh, the defense has really gotten on track here these last couple of weeks against uh, – Mississippi State and Ole Miss. They played really good defense uh, up since the Texas loss. Great game. Phenomenal game. Can't wait. But I am still leaning AM. I think this is as winnable a game for them as they'll have against Alabama. And look, keep in mind, too, the last few years, holy shit, you talk about worse AM teams and better Alabama teams and better Alabama teams having to really fight and scratch and yeah. claw to beat Texas AM. Two years ago, AM beat them here at Kyle Field, 41 38. And then last year in Tuscaloosa, 24 20. Alabama, right down to the wire. AM's given this team everything they can handle, and they might just get them here this year. What do you think, C Mac? Yeah, I think that's what people are uh, seeing. This defense is better, and they've played them really tough. That's why I went from three and a half down to two and a half. I think if you like Bama now at two and a half, like you're just saying Milrow's going to make the plays. Because, you know, I think Alabama's defense will be solid. I think this game is close. You know, can he make some big plays? Uh, I don't know if he can. I don't really see it. Like last week, they didn't have to do anything. It just kind of uh, – Rodgers and Mississippi State had a ton of turnovers. They just cruised to them, kicked their ass like they normally do. But it'll be rocking there uh, at A&M. And, yeah, was that one game Miami just kind of a – you know, because the defense does look better since then. But this is Alabama. Uh, I think we got a good one here. You know, I don't have a bet right now, but uh, I think it'll be close. And I have Alabama um, under 10 and a half wins. And that's another reason I'm rooting. I may, I may not. That's the reason why I may not bet AM 
Because if I don't bet AM and they win AM, I'm still going to cash a ticket in this game. And that's Alabama under 10 and a half wins. They'll be 10, the, the best they can do is 10 and two uh, if they lose this game. Uh, and I, I, I actually bet them under 10 and a half their season win total. I, I was just not convinced this year's version of Alabama with the question marks at quarterback that they were capable of winning 11 plus games this year. Uh, and uh, this is going to be a, a good bet. There's yeah. some, uh, I think they were worth it. I even think Georgia, because they basically had to go undefeated, and there's yeah. one loss. There's some of these I think, you know, it happens. Alabama and Georgia aren't what they've been in the last few years. You can beat if you play clean football, good football, you can beat both of them this year. It's starting to look that way with Georgia as well, which we mentioned earlier.